Hey guys, so today we've got a couple of things from Orkey. They sent me these to review. Now we've got two here. This one's a three port USB wall charger. It's a USB power supply essentially. At least that's what I'm going to be using it for. Uh, it is uh, $9.99 on amazon.co.uk and they've given me a code for three pounds off. I'll pop that in the description. I think it only works to the 26th of November, so you'll want to get in quickly. Now it's, uh, it's capable of 2.4 amps on each of its outputs. However, because it's got three and it's limited to six amps in total, so really you're only going to get two amps on all of them if they're all plugged in at the same time. However, you'll get 2.4 if you're only using one or two. The other one is a dual USB wall charger, but it has Quick Charge 3 in it, which is, well, it's pretty impressive if you've got a phone that will take advantage of it. However, if you're just going to use it for normal USB devices, not so much. So this one is $12.99 and you get a five pound off uh, sort of gift voucher in the description. That again works till the 26th of November. Now the other port on there is the AI power output and that has a 2.4 amp limit. Now the, the Quick Charge 3, if you're able to take advantage of it, will charge up to three amps for compatible devices and nine and 12 volts for, for those devices that require those. So that's tablets in general. I'm going to take these out of the box. Um, they come in like recycled packaging, which is nice, but I'm not really interested in what's inside. They probably come with a USB cable too, but we're going to try and uh, test them. We're going to throw on two amps of load and see what the voltage looks like. So let's start off by looking at the three port charger. I've got a couple of bits in here. Oh, that is cool. Look at that. So they come with a 24 month product warranty, which is pretty awesome. That's a really nice effect. It goes really well with this, uh, this mat there. Right, what do we have in here? So we've got the, the plug itself, nice and small. Uh, if you compare that to one of my other ones that I use, which is a little two port thing. It's capable of two, two amps. It's not quite two amps on the whole device, not four or anything like that. This one's not all that great in comparison. Uh, but you've got a little LED there, three ports. This is the AI power version. So 2.4 amps on each output or six in total. And it doesn't come with a cable. So I've just torn that box to pieces for no reason. So let's plug this in. Right, there we go. We've got a little LED light showing there. Let's plug some stuff in. So we've got a little USB power uh, measurement thing, the USB power doctor. I've got a couple of these, so we're gonna plug two into this. And I also have some of these USB load sticks. Now this one will go one amp and two amps, so let's just plug one in. So currently we're gonna be drawing around an amp. This isn't massively accurate, but you can see we've dropped to 4.9 volts. What if I switch it to two? So it's gone to 1.72 amps uh, it's drawing and it's dropped down to 4.83 which is still roughly within the spec that I would expect and certainly acceptable just on a, a Raspberry Pi or something like that. So let's plug the second one in. There we go and we're reading 5.15 on the output here so actually we have uh, different outputs here so different it's not drawing from the same bus essentially and then we have another one here we could plug in, so this is one amp. And it says we're drawing 0 0.92 at 5.09 volts, so 5.1. And if I switch it to two amps, we're drawing 1.86 or 88, and it's giving me 5.07, so five volts. So there's a little bit of, um, difference there. So let's just uh, unplug this one. These are going to get hot, aren't they? So we'll turn it off for now. You'll see we've recovered to five volts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this with a multimeter because when it's on the two amp setting, I'm not sure it's, uh, in fact, let's unplug that for a little while while it is getting very hot. We'll measure the voltage uh, across here and we'll, we'll get an accurate reading of what the voltage is actually sitting at. So this is a little difficult for you to see, I understand, but uh, I've got the, it's plugged in at one amp currently, uh, plugged in and set to one amp, and we're reading 4.97 on the output. This is through one of these USB doctors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probe the, the plus and minus lines. Whoops, I just grounded the case there. And we'll see what we get on the multimeter. 
That's obviously not the correct ground. That's ground there. Well, perhaps it's not. There we go. So we're actually reading five volts and we're drawing uh, 0.96 amps. So let's throw it up to two amps. A bit more dangerous in this scenario. And we're now reading 4.8. The uh, USB power doctor is reading 5 volts. So that's what we're getting across there. Now, if I'm going to, let's plug in uh, another one, another charge doctor. We'll throw that onto 2 amps as well. And we'll read the same. And we're getting 4.7 volts across there. So, uh, that's sort of what I would expect. 4.8 is directly across the USB. Still quite acceptable for 4 amps of load. This one's smoking a little bit now. So actually I'd be entirely happy using this with something like a Raspberry Pi that wants to draw 2 amps, or even two devices that want to draw 2 amps that perhaps weren't sinking it into massive resistors and getting hot. So. Uh, it's really, really nice for the price actually. So it's $9.99 and you can use a, a little offer code to get uh, three pounds off that. So it would be 6.99. So actually a really good deal for something that has three of these outputs are rated pretty well. I mean, I would have liked to have seen it hold its voltage at two amps to be bang on five. Uh, and it did until I plugged in a second one and it was pulling four amps and then it slightly dropped below to about 4.8, 4.9. So this is the second one. This is the two port quick charge three device. But we won't be using Quick Charge 3 in this scenario just because I don't have anything that will run up that. Uh, so we've got the plug here itself and do we have a cable or anything? We do have a cable in this one. So it's come with its own little USB charging cable. I'd say that's about 90 centimeters, something like that. So it's nice that they include that. You'll notice this one's quite a lot larger than the three port one. And that's probably because it has some Quick Charging 3 components in there. That will be, no, actually, there's a lot of space, wasted space in there, probably. So um, it may be that it needs extra cooling because it's getting up to three amps. But uh, it's still a nice design. It's no, no biggie that it's a little bit larger. It'll still fit uh, in a plug socket next to another one. Just. There's a, if you notice there, there's a little bit of a bit of pressure going on there. So perhaps it's not the best that it's so wide, but I'm sure there's a reason for that. Let's see if it would be easy to open. No, it does look like it's sort of molded together. So let's plug this in and we'll, we'll do another test of the voltage. Now we're just going to stick one of these in again. But this time it has to be in the other way around, which is frustrating. So we're currently on the two amp setting and we're reading five volts on the output. So it's at 1.88 amps. Uh, if I switch it down to one amp, we are going up a bit, a little bit on the five volt output. Let's plug another one into the other side and we'll switch that one to one amp as well, just to start with. So it doesn't get too warm too quickly. Ah, I cannot fit both of these in at the same time. That's frustrating. So let's see if it has a shared bus or if it has two separate outputs. So we can plug this one in. There we go. I'm now drawing two amps from this device and we are reading 4.98. So if I just throw it up to four amps. So we're reading 1.87 here. It's the same on the other one. And we've actually got a pretty stable voltage of 4.94. That's pretty impressive. Let's uh, switch these off so it doesn't get too hot. Uh, when you're when you're using a, a normal device, you wouldn't have this kind of heat burning on these resistors. You'd be getting that uh, power going elsewhere into a screen or something like that. So um, I'm, I don't need to test these ones because actually it's holding at quite a high voltage. So we're all right. Um, really, really nice on this one because it's got the Quick Charging 3. I would say that this one's a better investment. Quick Charging 3 is not going to be on all devices. Uh, but this one is only 12 99 and you can get uh, £5 off that one. 
So that would take it to 7.99, but it's only two ports. So for my money, um, I would go with the three port one. Now, Orkey have got this Black Friday thing coming up. Um, and so if you go to their Facebook page, you can see they've got this Black Friday giveaway. I'm not really uh, well informed about that, but I'll leave the link in the description so you can have a look. Now, remember that you can get the money off codes, uh, five pounds and three pounds. So five pounds for this one, three pounds for this one. They're in the description. I would recommend that you snap this up as quickly as possible if you're looking for good USB power supplies. Now, if you're gonna use a Raspberry Pi or something like that, then getting a good one with a stable voltage is really important, especially at high loads. So the Raspberry Pi can, can draw, the Raspberry Pi 3, for example, can draw well over an amp. So uh, with peripherals and things plugged in. So it's important to pick up something that can deal with those high, volt, high uh, current draws. All right, well, thanks a lot, hopefully, um, it was interesting to look at uh, the the voltage of these when you you plug in some some high current power draw like these uh, two amp resistors uh, and the one amp resistor as well and four amps in total on these now that doesn't quite meet their spec which is six amps but i just don't have any extras of these all right thanks a lot guys